In July 2022, I crossed Iceland north to south on a solo trek, following the lighthouse to lighthouse route. This route is about 600 kilometers long and passes through some of the most beautiful places in Iceland. After only one day of walking, I was already pretty tired from carrying the heavy backpack and walking on difficult terrain. So far, the walk had been quite monotonous, but I was finally getting closer to the first mountains. After 60 kilometers of walking on back terrain and under the rain, I was feeling pretty tired, but happy that I had reached some more comfortable tracks. I also knew that from now, I was going to see a lot more beautiful scenery. During this trek, walking cross country allowed me to discover some places that I absolutely did not expect to see on my way. Lake Ellisfund was one of those great surprises. On this third day I encountered so many different landscapes and climates, from very vegetated areas to moonlight looking deserts. It is truly incredible to see how fast the landscape can change in this country. After having walked 150 kilometers, my feet were very sore already. I decided to stop in Mivan and the campsite for half a day and rest, before starting to cross the Icelandic highlands.
In the highlands, I encountered very difficult terrain composed of young volcanic rocks. Walking there was quite dangerous since the rocks would still move, so I had to be really careful. Fortunately, I could always find a way out. During the past days, I really didn't feel like I was walking on earth anymore. Everything around me was either grey or black, and there were no signs of vegetation or human presence. At that point, I had spent four days without meeting anyone, and the weather has not been the most accommodating with a lot of rain and wind, so I started to feel really lonely. But this was also the time where I really was facing nobody else but me. So I deeply reflected on myself and forced myself to keep pushing every day despite pain and discomfort. Reaching Dan Manarugar was a blessing. There I saw the most beautiful scenery and finally could meet some people and have a hot drink. I finished the Lago Vecchio trek in little more than 24 hours. Despite being a beautiful trek, I did not want to spend too much time on it because it was very crowded and the weather forecasts were not very good.
The last 20 kilometers of the trek were very challenging, as I was simply walking on the road with cars passing close to me and offering me a ride. I fortunately managed to refuse the temptation. After finishing, at first, I didn't feel much except hunger for real food. It is only after a few days that I realized how much I walked and all the beautiful things I saw. I am very glad that everything went well and that the weather was overall very good. I think no other trek in my life has offered me as much freedom and landscapes as beautiful as this one. Walking cross country in a non-vegetated area allowed me to go where very few people have ever set foot and that was for me a truly unique experience, although this entailed adequate preparation for possible dangers. Since I had some time left before my flight, I decided to explore the south of Iceland and met many awesome people while hitchhiking and camping. I also managed to visit the volcano eruption that happened at that time, which was the cherry on the cake to celebrate the crossing. 